Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another automotive adventure with me, the Auto Venturer. And today you join me back at Lamborghini of Washington, where we were here for my very first video, uh, where they're having another car show event here, as well as a pet adoption event. Uh, I forget the name of the adoption center. It's right over there. We'll go check it out in a bit. But it's going to be another fun day, sunny weather, beautiful cars, a lot of pets, and we have a few other cars to check out that aren't even here at the dealership. So let's get to it. So starting off, we have this beautiful Bianco over, it looks like a cobalt blue accent, uh, Lamborghini Huracan STO. This is from the uh, Women's Day event that they were hosting a while back. The she drives a Lambo, so it's for their Lamborghini clients. We have another STO here, very similar to the launch spec, but this one has, it looks to be red accents over the blue Galaco. Paint, nice silver calipers, and a couple other nice cars spread throughout the show here. Nice, love that green, of course, of course, of course. On the Huracan Technica, and next to a Urus Performante and a Urus S. indoors another Urus S Ventador Roadster waiting to be collected for delivery this one is if I remember correctly it's a Rancho Argos the, yep you can actually see it right there the launch color of the original Ventador and we have two matching or similar STOs the race car for the road if you would from Lamborghini looking very, very nice. We're in the used showroom. We got a couple of 570s, 720S, beautiful matte white balloon paint, Gallardo Roadster with the blue dash. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but it is blue with the cream interior. Chicane effect. Oops. Chicane effect, McLaren GT, a 911 Speedster, and this beautiful blue TDF. A12 GTS with the crema interior and all carbon options on the outside. Oh, I guess just on the actual, actually on the back because that's kind of classy. But the interior looking gorgeous with the carbon tunnel, the carbon driver center. And here we have some of the pets. What's up, AJ? What's up, bro? Hi, buddy. Some of the pets here and if you did have a urus and you do have your dogs they do have official lamborghini dog merchandise to help your furry four-legged friends get in and out of your brand new urus performante and it's looking great with the new wheels the extra carbon bits on the side the more slightly updated interior this one has the matte carbon inside and gloss carbon outside the new fender uh, hood vents on the side, not fenders. It's got the heads-up display. Even that twin turbo V8 bumped up to even more horsepower. Don't remember the numbers per se, but you can see all the beautiful carbon in that purple Monte badge down there on the side. More dodge stuff to keep from the hair. Again, official Lamborghini merchandise. Moving on from the used car side, we're in the McLaren showroom, McLaren of Washington. So they have two 765 LTs in here, one with the MSR roof scoop in the coupe and the Volcano Blue in the Spider. The new long tail version of the 720S with the increased power and the same four liter twin turbo V8. You can get a good look at this roof scoop and the carbon tunnel that takes it into the engine bay. There was a full carbon 765 here that has since departed. Something that's just pulling up. Oh, nice. There's a blue Technica out there that we'll have to check out. McLaren Orange. Actually, no, Pi Spark. McLaren GT. And a few other cars that haven't moved around in a while. Love 675. This one in the Roadster with the carbon details. Look nice. And, oh, cool. The, let's see if I can get closer to the new configurator for the 750S. That one in looks to be Verde Mantis Green. Hard, hard to see with the polarizer, but looks amazing. 
would love to check out one of those cars when they come out, whenever we get one around here. Check out some of these new paint samples for the McLaren options that they have the fading paint. So this one from the Tokyo Science of Volcano Blue. And this one over here from, what's, I think, I forget what this red is called, but it fades into Volcano Red. So on the abilities of MSO. So you can get these, these paint styles on any of these new models. So you can get this one in that Tokyo Science and Volcano Blue. You can get the coupe in that bright red to dark red. Now it's not a trip to the McLaren, Lamborghini, and Rolls Royce of Washington dealerships uh, without stopping by and checking this out. The Bugatti Chiron Purse Sport. This one is, as you remember from the first video, this one's actually one of the pre-production models. So it goes around to different dealerships to serve as test drive vehicles or or display vehicles for different dealerships and different clients who are planning to own one of the few that are lucky enough to be able to own one the sun's out and everyone's having fun more cars have shown up there we're parking them as we have as they come in we got a food truck here and plenty of pets all the pet owners, all the accessories, little little pools for the. Hey man, how, how you, you been? Doing? I'm good. It's been a minute. I don't want to interrupt your. Uh, You're good. Game, Everybody, but... it's fine. It's a vlog, so it's. There's, okay. There's, there's no. Uh, there's no script. Is it going on YouTube? Yeah, I've been watching that. Thank you. Yes. Lambos and pups. Forget about the owner. Just so so cute. <laughs> all right, ready? <laughs> Hey Noah, hey. how you been, man? Good, what about yourself? Good, good, good. Sure good. Enjoying all the beautiful cars here. Oh, yeah, here, here, all the yeah. all the wonderful pets. He's on photos today. Awesome. So unfortunately, the audio didn't record for this part either, so we'll have to stick with the voiceover. But we have here a nice gray Aventador with a cobalt blue Evo rear wheel drive next to it. And next to me here, another nice bright blue Huracan Technica we've seen in previous videos. And next to it, we got here a Huracan Evo rear wheel drive convertible next to a 992 GT3. And this gorgeous, gorgeous cherry red 458 Spider with this incredible interesting looking decal package i personally like it i think it looks pretty good on here but i know that's probably not everybody's taste moving on to this mso 765 lt spider which was in our katie's video from last week we can really see the way the mclaren orange shines in the sunlight here either volcano orange or mclaren orange it looks similar sometimes but look at that amazing interior done up by an mso with the extra padding on the seats and the full exposed carbon tub you can see all the carbon accents that the client has specced out on this car with that beautiful four four tipped exhaust pipe the massive diffuser down there all the extra flicks and skirts and all the extra goodies that come on the lts that are not available on the regular 720s models and sitting next to that a manual v8 r8 this one one of the cars that usually goes on a lot of rallies around here so he has some police lights in the front dash and finally this amazing matte white 488 spider with the red interior and of course the full carbon dash it's such a great color combo for any type of car whether it's american muscle car like my first car or something high-end and exotic like this white over red is a beautiful color combo to go with gen one the gen one event door is getting ready to leave i was just talked to this gentleman and he just picked this up he also has a beautiful black and black f430 as well so while he's getting ready to leave let me check out this absolutely stunning F12 Berlinetta that just showed up. I don't know the name of this color. I'll see if I can ask in a second. But it looks amazing with the yellow accents, the yellow accented interior. This one does have the Daytona seats and it has the painted roof, or at least it looks like it's painted. So the two tone uh, roof options here. Lowered nicely. And it's just a gorgeous car. Perfect color. Matching luggage. 
So we got blue car. carbon fiber. Blue right. carbon on the interior, blue carbon on the, the back interior, of the seats. Blue carbon um, steering wheel, blue carbon exterior. Oh, wow. All right, blue carbon in the front, blue carbon in the back. Blue car, that is gorgeous. Yeah. And I do like the two-tone. Yeah, so for that. Oh yeah, I, for, my first thought was it was a wrap. No. I, I won't keep no, you. So the, the thing is completely wrapped and clear bra. Yeah. Car. Had taken apart, wrapped, put back together. Yeah, I was the, the the top. I thought was a wrap at first because you're right. You don't see too many two tones out here. But this is it. This is called Swatter's Blue, and like he was telling us, blue carbon fiber. And as you saw, blue carbon fiber all throughout the interior of the car, chocolate uh, interior leather with the yellow accents. And he didn't bring it, obviously, why would you? But he does have the, the original luggage set that goes with this car. Oh, that's amazing. The blue carbon on the diffuser flips. The blue carbon on the third brake light here. And the blue carbon on the skirts. The two-tone again on this roof. This is oh, just a magnificent tailor-made example of an F12 Berlinetta. More nice cars showing up. Bentley GTC convertible and the 911 GT3 RS in lava orange. I always get lava and magma orange confused, even though I don't think magma orange is a Porsche color. <laughs> so forgive me on that. But amazing nonetheless. That exhaust sounding absolutely amazing. And this paint with all the carbon actions just shimmering in the sunlight beautiful car obviously with the carbon interior and carbon accents and the bucket seats with the roll cage modified here with these little canards give it a slightly more aggressive look there's a 488 spider departing from the show as well and even down to these details the inlets intakes in carbon fiber the fen vents in carbon this is just beautiful car and the precision that comes only from Porsche and I realized I totally missed these two over here the Huracan Gen 1 in white more importantly this Verde Matt Verde uh, STO the red accents on the interior full matte carbon again not my choice gonna be my choice but obviously not my car but I think in this instance, it goes well with the Mac Green. Looks very aggressive, like a military fighter jet. This is what Lamborghinis look like in general. Pretty cool. So there's still cars here and there's still plenty of pets to see. We're actually gonna be taking a quick break from this show. Um, BMW M3. We're gonna be taking a quick break from this show to go to the Aston Martin dealership, which we've been to before. Uh, they, they have another surprise car there. I've heard it's another F1 car, so we'll see what generation and uh, what livery it is. So we'll go check that out, and then we have another show we might be going to. We'll see what, what time uh, has for us, but let's get to it. So we're here now at Aston Martin. Let's see if we can find that F1 car. I have this one here. <laughs> I guess I can't walk on the floor. <laughs> Step on any surface. There is. So who would have thought that the F Aston Martin F1 car would be in the Aston Martin wing of the dealership? <laughs> so it's right. Oh, it's right over there. Which we'll turn the camera on in a second. But while they're looking at it, you can see it kind of back there. We'll take out some of these. Other displays. This one is a matte charcoal with a gorgeous two tone black and orange interior. The orange leather looking very, very nice. The DBS over there with the liquid silver over the black and red leather. And then this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous one of 333 Aston Martin V12 Vantage. This one with the carbon hood option or the exposed carbon hood option. Carbon ground effects, no wing, obviously in the roadster form with this beautiful blue interior. 
the last of the V12s as far as vantages go. And here it is, the AMR22 F1 car for Aston Martin Formula One and their team for the 2022 F1 season. Let's get around this real quick. You can see that gorgeous Aston Martin F1 green is what they call it. The generous amounts of carbon fiber, the sheer size of these massive wheels, both in width and diameter. Look at these things, insane. And it looks low now, but once these cars get going, they're literally glued to the surface. No room between. This tiny gap is gone. You can see the, sort of see the steering wheel. This one being Lance, Stroll, Lance Stroll's car. This is crazy. We got permission to come behind the ropes here with a few other spectators and we can get a much closer look at this car. The sheer aerodynamics of this car. These ones being not as extreme as the pre-2022 uh, pre-2022 cars so there's not as much aggressive aero. You can still see how aggressive the remaining aero is. The introduction of the halo to protect the drivers from any flying debris and the beautiful intake. Amazing. Look at this massive front wing. You can't even call it a splitter because it's just too large. The beauty of the suspension and all the carbon fiber work. And of course, celebrating 110 years of Aston Martin, this iconic brand. It's a sight. Oh, let me get out of your way, guys. You can see my little, my little baby down there waiting for our next adventure. A few other nice models sitting outside the blue DBX 707. There's plenty of stuff in the sales lot back there where my fingers are. We can check that out in a bit. And more and more cars, but let's take another look at this beautiful car. Look at that exhaust pipe. Obviously, this is not being a full fledged race car, but they can still put an engine in this and get it ready to go if needed. Take a look at that interior now that we have a chance. Steering wheel literally sitting with your legs up. Your knees are higher than your rear ends. Comfort is not a car that this uh, word that this car knows, that is for sure. The intricacies of the wheel able to be taken out so it's easier to get in and out of the car for the driver, as well as these shoulder areas where you see the TikTok logos and the Lance Troll logos. Right, and now after checking out the F1 car, we are here at Loudoun Station. We were here a couple weeks ago for the DC car scene event, but we are here again for Cars and Cigars. If you remember the last time we came here, there was the LFA. We cruised with the uh, Fredericksburg boys, their super cars. So we're gonna we're here at this event. It's a different location than the DC Prime, but already some nice cars. Check out what I see in front of me. Cobalt Blue Lamborghini Super Legetta. And that's just a hint of the types of cars that we're going to be seeing here. That lot's full of mixed match cars. My car's over there. But we're going to go down this road where all the main cars are at. And we're going to check out what showed up. And we're going to continue having a great time. There's a blue Alfa Romeo Quadrifoglio down there in the Giulia. Love that. The two Audi TTRSs. Another dude from Fredericksburg. I believe he's from where I live. It is Viper GTS, six speed manual V10. What's up, guys? That looks amazing. There was nobody here, they didn't let me in. There's so, there's, obvi there's, there's obviously parking, they put me in the back. JDMs, muscle, muscle, Euros, exotics, everything's here. Ooh, I definitely want to check out this. This is the RCF track edition. 
Fuji Speedway edition actually on top of that. So this matte blue with the blue leather and it's hard to see but it's got blue carbon fiber accents throughout the car. One of 40 of the Fuji Speedway editions, full carbon exterior accents. And what's really cool about this wing, it's kind of hard to see. You can see the F Sport logo woven into the uh, carbon fiber. So really cool, I love the blue. That matte blue looks amazing, especially with the carbon secondary. RX-7, some Jeeps, plenty of cool cars. My friend Joseph is here somewhere. We gotta go find him. So he got priority parking and I did not. Really nice modified Mustang. We won't film too much here just because we already have a lot as it is. That's a really nice RCF. I used to have an RC350, so these cars are really near and dear to me. S2000s, love the Admiral Blue, Blue Heritage Edition Grand Sport. Look at that rat rod. That is insane. But she's in a Batmobile limousine. So crazy what you see at these shows. You don't see it at any other shows. Let's go find my friend Joe. Let's go grab some lunch. So I'm not sure if this is his, but I just met one of my subscribers at this show. His name's Ali, and he told me he drives a red Jaguar F-Type convertible, so I would assume this is his, but this is another car that I do like. I wish that the coupes, I'm more of a coupe guy, but I wish the coupes had this long spoiler rather than the little tiny spoiler. But this was the F-Type S, so it has this V6, and I think I'm gonna move on because I don't want copyright strike from the music. And funny enough, we got some nice rabbit blue C8s here, but funny enough, we got my Fredericksburg friends, Corey in the blue NSX and Rick here with his almost very similar shade of gray to my Z06 uh, in his NSX. I don't know where they're at. We'll see if we can catch up with them. But pretty cool to see that they showed up. I would have loved to have cruised with them. We got a Gallardo over there, 720S Spider. And we finally found my friend Joe, getting proper car placement. Lucky man. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we just got done having lunch. This show has only gotten more crowded. And we do have a few new, uh, few new people joining us. The BMW i8 Roadster, an SLC, very nice track car for the road and this is making a second appearance the matte gold Lamborghini SVJ Roadster this is such an amazing spec for such an aggressive and exotic car the, the gold stitching accents on the interior with the white leather on top of the black Alcantara all the carbon on the door fins on the back of the seats, on the center, in between, everywhere, just so much carbon. One of 800 Roadsters, 900 coupes, and just looking immaculate in this gold color. Lamborghinis like this are supposed to be in bright, bold colors, and this is definitely that. Another cool last minute appearance we got here, the Nissan 400Z, a nice, Toyota Supra Mark IV. Let me not try to get run over. I do like this one. This has the blue interior options and the blue calipers to match, which are aftermarket. Very, very sharp looking. And a pack show, even the exotics can't get in. <laughs> 488 GTB Spider and the Mac Grigio, the black and yellow accented interior. Huracan Technica from earlier today. The Viola Pacife and a black Huracan Roadster. This SLC is so cool to see. Your own supercar. Sorry, my bad. And then you have the Lambo. Well, let's see what else is showing up down here. Making a sneaking appearance. Kaz back here again with his F8 Tributo. This car is just so nice. It'll, it'll, you'll see this a lot on the channel. 
These are one of my favorite cars. I absolutely love the FH Abuto. So nice. And the Boston wheels look amazing. I see the, paint, the painted engine bay. And he just got a straight pipe exhaust kit on it. So this thing sounds insane. And right across from it, a nice cherry red. I don't know the actual name of it, but GT500 looking very, very menacing. And that Gallardo sounding just as nice. That's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you guys again for watching. Unfortunately, my mic disconnected again. So we're back here with another voiceover. Uh, we'll take one last look at this SVJ right behind me here. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. A lot of nice cars. Let me know which one was your favorite. And uh, we have a lot more adventures to look forward to in the future. So stay tuned for that. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Okay.